name's Vanessa Alvarez, and I'm here with the sales representative of Delta. My, hi, my name's Annalie. And the head referee. Hello, my name's Desi. Okay, so um, one question I have is when were y'all, when did y'all establish this? Uh, so this establishment runs about 10 plus years. Um, as far as the exact date, I couldn't give you. But as far as I know, it's a family-owned business, and I know throughout the time that um, this business has gone through a lot of challenges that they've had to overcome, you know, from small things uh, like figuring out what's next uh, in, as far as, you know, what maps are going to be built to the things of uh, like this, you know, like kind of bigger things for the future. So this wasn't here last year. Last year, it was like this little shack outside that we had. We didn't have this building yet. So Delta's come a long way from what it used to be. But yeah, we've been open for quite a while. Like we said, the owners that we have right now, um, her mom originally, originally had this place. So it went from her parents to now her and her husband. So it's been open for a while. Yeah, so it like goes down in the family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, is it just here or do you all plan on, or do you have other locations? So right now, this is the only Delta Field um, paintball spot that we have. As far as branching out, we don't necessarily know if the owners, if that's what they're planning on doing. Um, so as of right now, this is the only spot that we have for Delta. Okay. As far as booking and scheduling, how does that go? So we usually have people come schedule parties, and how that works is if we have 10 or more players, they can either call us or, or go online and schedule a party. And like I said, once they have 10 or more players, we go about asking them what caliber they want to use. So we have a 50 caliber and we have our regular emix. So the 50 caliber uses a smaller bullet, so it hurts a lot less. So younger kids or people with smaller pain tolerances um, tend to go that route, or if you want to go the emix route. Um, and then we do offer discounts for parties of 10 or more, or $5. Uh, okay. Is there chances of employment right now? Oh yeah, we're still hiring right now. There's signs all over the place that we have that we're still <laughs> hiring. Um, we're, always, we're always more than welcoming to Helping Hands. Um, you said y'all have been working for a while, like how long is a while? Oh, I've been here for eight months, but I would play here beforehand, so I've been around Delta a lot. Mm -hmm. And how long you Uh, Maybe about, total time I'd say about a solid year and eight months. Okay. If I were to bet on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any like tournaments or events that y'all host? Yes, so we do host um, tournaments. The next tournament that we have is actually for one of our, um, he's a player here too, but he also has his own set of this, uh, it's called Ben Wraps, so he makes like head wraps and headbands. Um, and so we have tournaments here, and so the last tournament that we had, he actually gave out some headbands to the people who won the tournaments. So yeah, we host some tournaments here sometimes, and with, there's also tournaments outside of here, so I'm going to the next tournament that's in Houston, so there's a lot of, it's a really big paintball family. There's a lot of things that go into it. And, um, how would you explain paintballing to someone that's never played before? Um, the way I'd explain it is like, think of laser tag with the kick behind it. Yeah. You know, like, uh, you get, with laser tag, you'll get people running around, like, just running and just staying with, um, like, an enemy or something like that, just keep on shooting and shooting. With this, it's kind of like, you have to stay more hidden because if you get hit by a paintball, you know, you'll feel it. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, it's not something to fear. I know that's everybody's That's everybody's fear is always the first shot. That's what I see with uh, newcomers a lot. Mm -hmm. They tend to be nervous around the first shot, and I'll explain to them, hey, after that first shot, you'll have a blast because yeah. your adrenaline starts to build up, and once that builds up and you uh, take that first shot, it goes numb instantly, mm -hmm. and you should be like, just like, let's go back in. Come on, let's go, <laughs> yeah. let's go again, let's go again, let's go, guys, come we've on. Seen, we've seen a lot of kids that come in here, and they're like, I'm afraid to play, I'm afraid to play. I'm like, it's okay. Like, the first initial hit, though, that for, I felt from the 68 caliber, which is the regular one, it just feels like a beasting, and then after that, like, it goes away. So then I've seen the little kids being, like, scared, and then they go in and play, and then they come out, and they're like, oh, I've been here for three hours already. I want to keep going. So it's a really fun experience for people. If they're newcomers, a lot of them tend to really love the experience. Mm -hmm. And um, y'all have been here for, like, a year, eight months, right? Have y'all experienced any challenges? Definitely, I would say when there's a lot of walk-on parties or a lot of big groups that come in Because a lot of the time if they're not scheduled and they don't have to be there's big groups that come in So sometimes I'm here by myself and there'll be like groups of like 30 40 people in here 
and so I'm there um, issuing out all, all these people's stuff to them, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many people, and there's just one of me. So um, definitely that, but some, but a lot of the time the managers will see that and they'll jump in right away and they'll come help. So there's never a point in time to where we're having to do things on our own because our management's always right there to help us. Okay. And have you experienced any challenges? Uh, yes. Yeah, so as far as you know, whenever there's walk-on parties or whenever there's uh, mass gatherings of people, because we do tend to have those parties that are any words of like 20 to 40 people per group sometimes and you know um our rentals would just go out and like you know you'll we'll have about 200 people outside that they all need a field and so i got to appoint uh people where they have to be so we can be as efficient and as um you know like as, as safe as possible that way i have reps in the back that way i have reps in the front so everybody knows where they got to be and everybody can ensure that the safety of all of the customers around whether inside or outside of the building they're taken care of. Okay. And are there any challenges you expect in the future? I feel like recently Delta's been growing a lot. So we've actually been getting a lot more customers come in. So I feel like we I'm just gonna have to like as a salesperson I'm gonna have to prepare myself for like bigger groups to come in mm -hmm. because we see that there has been a lot more people coming in because we've been drawing a lot of um, attention to ourselves which is really good and we love that people like being here at Delta um, so yeah just I need to prepare myself for having those big groups come in um, but it's a lot of fun like yeah it seems stressful because there's like there's sometimes where it's packed from the beginning all the way until like the back of the door and so it seems overwhelming at the at the moment but you're thinking about it and it's like wow like our place of work is really drawing all this attention it's a good thing because people are coming to enjoy paintball and experiencing paintball for the first time when they haven't and it's really cool to watch yeah and do you do expect any other challenges uh yeah same thing as it goes you know as we grow in popularity you know more and more people will come and you know that's one thing we got to be on the lookout for is whenever more people do show up that means more people will tend to buy their own equipment if they do uh, plan on getting into the sport mm -hmm. So on top of the 200 people uh, that we might potentially have from our rentals, uh, we're looking at a group of people that are self-equipped players. So on top of uh, the rental group, we got to look out for those players as well to combine them and make sure that everybody has a good time here. So this is our dust ping, our dust yeah. ping yeah. gun, yeah. and we also have this ping tank from HP Army, and this is a new bird plug that we got. It says double bunker instead of double bubble, like the bubble gum. And so I put this whole set together because it looked kind of like a bubble gum set, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And we have it on our pink tech mat. As a sales representative, what are some things you have to do in that job? So for me, what I do is, like I said, I'm the salesperson. So any people that want to come schedule parties, I go ahead and help them out with that, as well as um, we have our pro shop too. So any people that want to come in and buy the guns, tanks, masks, anything, um, I take care of that too. Um, as well as the groups that just walk on. So a lot of the times there's parents that come in just asking questions um, just so they know beforehand what they're getting their child into. So they come in, they ask questions, and I address all of their concerns, and I let them know the three different packages that we have because we also have this thing called Jelly Ball, and a lot of parents don't know about that, and what that is is kind of just like Orbeez. So the little kids who want who see their older brothers or older sisters playing, they're like, I want to play, I want to play, but they don't want to get hurt. Um, I do let them know, like, hey, we have this too. So I go ahead and let them know all their options. Um, I let them know all the seating arrangements that we have so they can go ahead and choose from that. And I also come in during the week to help the owner directly, just like make sure everything looks nice. So like we'll fix all the displays. Um, I'll make sure all the guns are put up. Like we work on the displays a lot and we also organize a lot here. So we like having everything in order and tidy. So not only do I work here during my shifts to ensure that everyone's having a good time and making sure everything's running smoothly, but I also come in during the week too to make sure everything looks nice for when people get here. Yeah. And you, you're like in the line of fire, right? Have you ever gotten shot? Uh, yes, I've taken my handful of uh, paintball rounds uh, anywhere, pretty much. Um, so, today on Sunday, you know, we have our thing called Speedball Sunday, which uh, all the self-equipped uh, players, teams of speedball players, you know, the, these guys with these uh, ramped up guns, um, they'll go at it on our speedball fields where, you know, they'll go five on five to potentially, you know, better themselves as players. And, you know, there, there'll be times where we'll have to check a player for paint to see if he got tagged. And um, you know, sometimes we we might take a couple of extra rounds to the to the side or to the back, and you know, it it's it's all it's all part of the job, you know. But it's it's fun at the end of the day. Um, I, I wouldn't want to 
wouldn't want to change it for anything else. So I was actually thinking about challenging someone, mm -hmm. so I wanted to know if that would be a possibility. That'd be so cool. Yeah, we can have you guys both go on the field, um, and you guys can put on the paintball gear. We'll give you the gun. We'll get you some paint. We'll get you a vest if you want one, and you guys can go ahead and see who's better at paintball. <laughs> Okay, and the last question, is there anything you want to say to your fans, followers, people that have supported you? Yeah, uh, so we do have a lot of people who are regulars, and they come in a lot, and a lot of them are really supportive of Delta. So I guess we just want to say thank you to those people, and thank you to everyone who continues to come to Delta. And if you want to try out people after watching this video, you should go ahead and come in. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a very welcoming community, and you're going to make a lot of friends here. A lot of people come in, and they make a lot of friends. So. I feel like it'd be a good experience. Yeah. Come on down to Delta. <laughs> okay, well, this has been Talk the Talk, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>